Hello and welcome to the 40th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at some extra functionality for audio. We'll be using the source code from the previous tutorial and if you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. In the previous tutorial we looked at playing music. SFML provides some pretty cool functionality to go beyond just playing audio. We will cover, we'll cover some of the extra functionality but you can visit sfml-dev.org, the link will be in the description for more information because there is a lot of extra functionality. Okay, the first one we're going to be looking at is uh, setting the offset for the audio which advances into the audio file by a number of seconds which is specified by us. So actually before I do that, the volume is now at its max, I'm just going to play this. We have the music playing and what we're going to do is music.setplane offset. So this basically just puts or fast forwards the music uh, from the start. So we're going to put SF colon colon seconds. And in here, we just put how many seconds we want, and you put a float variable. I'm just going to put 10. Now, let's run this. You should have been able to tell that it didn't obviously play from the start because we offset it by 10 seconds. Another thing that we're going to be looking at is you can stop the music. We will be doing this straight away after playing it, but you could do this if you perhaps want to change music files or turn audio off or toggle in a settings menu, which is quite common practice. So we're just going to put music dot stop, and what you'll notice is that the audio pretty much doesn't play. The reason it doesn't play because it's played, offset and then immediately it is stopped very very quickly. We can also set the audio volume uh, set for music and you can specify a float variable ranging from 0 aka mute and 100 aka full volume. Uh, so what we're going to do is put music.setVolume this takes a flow variable, I'm going to put 25 so it's Quite a bit quieter than what it was before. I'm going to just comment out this line because otherwise we won't be able to hear anything at all. You should be able to notice that it is quieter. I'm going to put 75, so it is 75% volume. And I'm just going to put something like I don't know, 15, so it's even quieter than what we had it as originally. The other thing to note is that though we have used these functions on a music file, SF Music, uh, they can also be used on sound effects, which is really, really cool. That is it for this tutorial. Like I mentioned, there will be a link in the description for the SFML website, which you can find out a lot more information about all these different extra functionality for audio. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at soundarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at recording audio, which is really, really cool. It's great that SFML provides this great functionality. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.